Hey, everybody, how's it going? Marcos Villegas being joined with Dimitri Bolo, who takes on Zurdo Ramirez coming up November 5th, defending his light heavyweight title. You can go ahead and get tickets for this fight at the etiadarena.ae. That is www.etiadarena.ae to get your tickets for this fight. Dimitri Bavo. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello. I'm good. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, how has camp been? Uh, we haven't had a chance to see you. Give us an update on how the training has been for this fight against Zerto Ramirez. Everything is good. Uh, like every, every time uh, I have a good sparring partner, I have uh, enough time for um, preparation. For, for prepare to fight and uh, I feel good and we are now we are in Abu Dhabi uh, since uh, September 27 it's uh, it's good it's new location it's uh, new feelings how has that change been I, I know you did your last camp for Canelo in Indio uh, you've been all over the place for this training camp how has that been for you has it made any difference do you like it talk to me a little bit about that uh first of all different sparring partners and second uh, different location uh, but uh, everything is close uh, we're living close to the gym it takes 10 minutes and uh, different people in in the gym uh, but people are great here some similar but different <laughs> <laughs> you and Zerto Ramirez know each other really, really well. Uh, Zerto has a lot of respect for you. He he thinks you're a good person, um, a great boxer. What do you think of the skills, though, of Zerto Ramirez in this fight with you? Uh, he has 44 fights and zero losses. Uh, it means he's good. Uh, 44 fights. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I will never have. 44 fights, you know, in, in pro. Uh, what about skills? Uh, he has a good uh, body punch by his uh, left hand. Uh, he's, he has a good uh, conditioning. Uh, he's tall, he's southpaw, and he, he's confident because 44 fights, 44 victories experience he has a lot of experience do you think this is or can be a harder fight than the canelo fight given that zerto is a bigger guy a natural light heavyweight he's taller and longer also than canelo uh <clears throat> you know we will be the same weight before before the fight doesn't matter of course he's taller but uh He's the same weight like me. Doesn't matter, you know. I, I don't think about it just. But uh, of course, it's hard fight. Uh, I every fight is hard. I can't say that uh, fight against Canelo was hardest fight in my career, or some another fight. It's just another hard fight. You know, you guys uh, used to spar together, right? Used to be sparring partners. Yes. Yes, we sparred a couple times, uh, uh, maybe three, maybe four times we sparred. How, how long ago was that? For 10 rounds. Oh, wow, 10 rounds. So that, that almost yeah. a fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how long ago was that? Was that like last we, year? We had six rounds, uh, eight rounds, but uh, around three, around 100% it was 10 rounds too, a couple yeah. of sparrings. How many years ago was that? He was a champion uh, that time mm. at super middleweight. Wow. So what do you remember the most about the sparring? I know you mentioned the, the body shots. Was, was that what you remember most or was there something else from those sparrings that you remember vividly? Um, to be honest, I, I don't remember exactly what what was on sparrings, but it was uh, good. It was just sparrings, you know, it was trainings. And uh, he he has a, a good uh, left hand, le left stride too, not only body. And 
that's what I remember. You know? Were you there for those sparrings, Vadim? Yes. All right. So you tell us, man, based on those sparrings, how is this fight going to be? Um, it will be a surprise. It will be a surprise. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see any chances for us. You know, it's pretty, pretty serious sparring. <laughs> no, it was, it was competitive. It was competitive, yeah. to be honest. And uh, obviously, the, even without the sparrings, you know, not even including what I saw there, I believe that everybody understands that these are two guys that never lost and they're going to give it all, you know. So I think it's going to be very competitive and very interesting. To you, Dimitri, what's the most interesting thing about this fight against Zurdo? For for whom? For you. For me. Yeah. What what what's the yeah? Uh, for me, uh, I like this fight because uh, he was a champion. Uh, another uh, opponent is is the champion for me, and uh, he has zero losses. Right? What loss? This is uh, it's good. Mm. What do you make of uh, what do you make of uh, Zurdo's done a lot of uh, interviews lately? Um, and he said, you know, for the longest time, he's wanted this fight with you. And that he said, like, hey, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. What do you make of him saying, like, hey, you made me wait so long to get this fight with you? What do you think about that? He said that 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 he said You know, he... Скажи, что если бы я мог организовать этот бой и заплатить ему лично за своего кармана, то этот бой давно бы состоялся. После боя с Канело у тебя сейчас есть... Но это экстра. Никогда не бывает экстра, по-моему, скажи. There's never extra money. Yeah, be careful with your money. Be smart with your money, Dimitri. Hey, you know, I, I got to ask you, uh, did you see Canelo fight Triple G? And what did you think of it? Uh, to be honest, uh, I didn't see the fight. Mm. Why not? Um, uh, it's interesting fight for me to see, but uh, I don't want to see another fight now, you know, because uh, I have my own fight. Uh, I don't, uh, when I see the fight, uh, I imagine how I fight against this guy, you know, uh, I spend a lot of energy for this, uh, but now I don't want to see this fight. Uh, mm. I, I, I want to be focused on my uh, fight. You heard, though, that he beat Gennady and he beat him pretty convincingly, right? Uh, I heard that uh, he won around eight, nine rounds. And Gennady was better at the end of the fight. I think something like that. But uh, the fight was, was not, wasn't. Uh, it was boring. It was boring? Yeah, it <laughs> was boring. boring. It was boring. Okay. I'll be honest. It was, it was kind of a boring Something fight. like that, yeah. I, yeah. I, I spoke <laughs> to Gennady before the fight and he told me that he wanted the fourth one. So he mm -hmm. said he was going to kind of hold off until the end and, and leave people thinking, you know, for the fourth fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after the fight, Dimitri, we spoke with Canelo. He still wants a rematch. It's still, that's what he wants. We heard he wanted to fight Usyk. Um, oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what, what, what do you think of that? I, I know um, I read something that you said that that doesn't really interest you anymore. Is that correct? It's not the, really doesn't interesting. It, he won. He won a rematch. It's uh, it's not surprise for me. It's OK because uh, he is a champion. He lost his last fight. Uh, every champion won a rematch, even a revenge. It's uh, it's OK for for him that he won a revenge. But for you personally, do you want a, a rematch or, or do you think, nah, better be of undisputed that that's my goal. I want that instead. Well, of course, uh, the better way for me, move forward, move up. Uh, but we can talk about uh, rematch, but it's not. 
interesting for me like it was before. Because you beat him. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think if you guys were to fight again, it's more of a one-sided fight for you than the first one, in your opinion, now that you already had a full 12 rounds with Canelo? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it will be another fight. Uh, everything is, uh, will be new. We will see. Will be rematch or no. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, uh, Canelo can't uh, fight anymore until May, he said, because of uh, a hand injury that he uh, suffered. So, yeah, he, he had mentioned to us that he would hope uh, to get a fight with you. Uh, around that time in May of 2023, but there is better BF still out there. Uh, do you feel that if uh, with this Zerto fight, the next logical fight, the, the one that you're really going to push for is that uh, undisputed fight with Arthur Better BF? Uh, I think it's not uh, after Zurda. It's uh, before Zurda, before Canelo, <laughs> it would be a good fight. And of course, uh, now it's a good fight too for four belts. It's how, fa how familiar are you with Better BF? Like, did you know him in the amateurs? Yeah, yeah. We, we were on the same team. When I came to the national team, uh, he was uh, one of the best fighters in uh, our team. And I was young. When I came and uh, I saw on him how he trained, как uh, на него смотрел как на такого да там как на старшего что ли как 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 на пример лидера. I saw I, I saw him as like the older, more experienced fighter. He was he was kind of like one of the leaders in the team, and you know I kind of looked up to him a little bit as as one of the guys that was you know on top on top. Yeah. yeah. He was a leader. Mm. Did you ever think back then that you would fight better BF? Mm. To be honest, no. <laughs> no, we was uh, we were on uh, different weight classes when I came to national team. He uh, he fought uh, cruiser weight. I was super middle weight. And then I move up and he move up to light heavyweight and he, he left the uh, amateur box. Mm. Well, I, you know, that, that's a fight I want to see, man. That, that is a great fight between you and him stylistically because he's seen as like this Terminator that just yeah. goes through people. Yeah, he, he, he's, really, he's really tough. He, he's really strong. Uh, he's one of the strongest people which I see, to be honest. He's part with... The, he was small for cruiserweight, to be honest. But uh, he had enough power to beat them. Uh, sometimes he's part with the uh, heavyweights, you know, and beat them too. Oh, that's crazy. That should, that, that, that's, yeah, that's, he has crazy power. You know, ultimately, Dimitri... Why do you win this fight against Zerdo? And how do you win? I don't know how, uh, but uh, I know I, yeah, типа, достоин этого. I deserve it. I deserve it to be winner of this fight. Mm. Why not? I believe I can. That, that's the main point right there is like, you believe you can beat him. You said you deserve to win this fight, but why do you feel you deserve? Like, do you think you just have more skills than him, more experience, just better pedigree? Uh, I don't know why, but I feel I deserve, you know, <laughs> I am in my, in my, uh, in my prime, you know, uh, I'm the champion. I feel uh, confident confident yeah myself and finally dimitri and I just and, and it's not enough i train hard mm. uh, i do everything what my coach uh, told me you know uh, what my coach has told me and i try to be uh, disciplined uh, i try to follow discipline
finally, Dimitri, because you got such a high profile win against Canelo, did your life change at all? Did, did you notice anything different? Did people start treating you different? Uh, life a little bit changed. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, much more people now recognize me. Uh, in uh, Los Angeles, a lot of Mexicans recognize me and they respect me. Uh, in uh, Russia, in Kyrgyzstan, in Abu Dhabi here too, they recognize me. A lot of uh, Philippines I saw here uh, and Philippines uh, people recognize me too. Do you like the extra attention? Do you think it's cool or is it something where you're like, ah? Uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, I, I, I feel good, you know, that people is not because just they uh, just, just they recognize me uh, i feel good because they respect me you know i feel that that this respect from people and uh, of course uh, i'm happy i'm glad it's a validation of your skills and your hard work dmitry это подтверждение твоих everything Discipline, work, skills, my team, everything. That is Dimitri Baval. Dimitri, man, hey, it was great catching up with you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.